<laughs> oh, shit. Hey, is that the sound of Jarrett? That means we're started. Hell, I'm just trying to be super <laughs> quiet. I'm trying to be super quiet. <laughs> How are you, mate? Good. I was literally just shuffling through a few of my discs over here, import discs, so we won't talk about those. But yeah, I'm good, man. Yourself? How, how are you both doing? Ben, you're overseas at the moment. Oh, hang on. Are we pretending oh, yeah, he's course. in the studio? No, no, no. He's overseas. Are we well, keeping up the myth? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm in. I'm. I'm. I'm here in Vienna in the lovely uh, hotel Beckman, uh, with my trusty religious paraphernalia. <laughs> uh, yeah, with my, and uh, I've got it's, it's no no uh, no pass system here. Like no uh, you know wallet size oh, no, credit card. I've got a yeah right hotel key. Although to be honest, and I've got to be quiet because I think the walls are pretty thin here. <laughs> After hours, there's a there's a there's a kind of a ceremony that happens in the basement. <laughs> 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 Everyone bring their own crucifix. You pay, you pay extra for that. That's they they advertise that. That's not an, an issue. But they've got this side door to come in. Yeah, you know, after seven o'clock, they close the reception area. And she gave me a key. And she's like, "This big key is for the reception area. That's how um yeah you, know, you get in at, at night." And I'm like, "Okay, no worries." So, and I went out. I had to go to a supermarket and get some stuff. And I came back. I'm pretty sure I used the. I'm pretty sure it was it was locked. I had to turn the key a couple of times because they have these double locks here, so you can never tell if you've unlocked it or just double locked it. Uh, so sometimes yeah, it takes yeah. a couple of go arounds on the key. But so I unlock the door, come in, and I turn around to lock it again. And there's a sign, a little plaque on the top saying "Fire Fire Exit Door Do Not Open <laughs> Do Not Lock." And I'm like, oh shit, because there's no Hang other. On, that locks means anyone can get in. No <laughs> come in, and I'm like, wow. Ah. Why would they give me a key if I'm not supposed to lock it? But then if I do lock it, am I going to kill everybody in this hotel if there's a fire? <laughs> so I've left it alone totally. and spent the entire night in a state of paranoid delusion that uh, somebody was yeah. breaking no, and stealing No, key it. number two was I her room, dude. It was her times. room. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there you go. And you can get in there after hours. <laughs> For reasons that I explained off air, I don't think that's a... Uh, a Possibility. <laughs> she was friendly enough, but quite happy to get me out of the reception area. <laughs> On the topic of physical media, Ben, have you had an opportunity to drop into a store and check out their wares? Are they stocked up with physical media over there? They they are. I did go into a for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the shop. It's like a home home something or another. Um, it's very much like a. It's what JB Hi-Fi wants to become mm -hmm. back home. Okay. It's they, it, but it's more like a Harvey Norman back when Harvey Norman stopped physical mm -hmm. physical product. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it is great. Like it is. It's got a great. It's got a pretty decent like video game section if you're into that kind of stuff. No, I'm not particularly. It's got a, a very good vinyl se selection, which I was surprised about. Oh wow. Uh, well, they got. I think the they've got pressing are, plants all over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where all the vinyl is exploding. Yeah. Exploding. Yeah. yeah, and it actually is pretty. Pretty reasonably priced, but they did have a lovely physical media section. And the beautiful thing about about uh, Germany and Austria and and the films in this region is that they put all sorts of crazy shit on Blu-ray. They just don't give a fuck because it's nice and cheap. I'm yeah. Sure because of, as you said, the plants are here. So there was and there was a, a massive. They had like wall displays of media books and stuff. Wow. I think I sent you a couple of pictures earlier yeah. of like the Bloodsport 4K and yeah. there's a lot of. Which is, you know, considering the Hans Fritzl stuff, there is a surprising amount of movies about cannibals in, in media books. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Blu -ray. That's incredible. Yeah. Surprising. I mean, you look I'm like envious. you're in Fritzl's is, basement right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I can't leave. This, this is key. It was for, strictly for show. Uh, before, before this turns into hostel. <laughs> <laughs> the prelude. Oh. I suppose, well, Jared, okay, gentlemen. I was going to say, you're probably enjoying all of this banter because there's not a lot to report on, eh? No, there's a ton of stuff coming out next week. <laughs> Is there? No, not really. <laughs> it's all coming out the following week, really. <laughs> there's a ton of stuff coming out the week the week of May 24th. Next week, there's nothing coming out. Mm. All right. Nothing. Wow. Good to chat. I can tell you what's coming out the week <laughs> after, but I'd be kind of spoiling the scenario, would I not? Absolutely. So you take it away. We, Whatever. Talk we, about I anything. Mean, okay. <laughs> Even though it's not well, well, next. Well, I mean, May twenty fourth. When we get to that next week, it's going to be a crazy week. I mean, I'm going to be talking. You know, it's going to make up for the lack of titles this week. I mean, there's 
I think there's one 4K release coming. The rest are all sort of Blu-ray. And, of course, I rarely discuss DVD. We won't get into that. <laughs> but in terms of other releases, like upcoming releases, uh, I haven't been able to really see anything too far into the future. Like, I'm trying to find out. Here's my, my, my main gripe, right? This week, Evil Dead was announced for release in the US. And so I think they've got a July release date for it. And while no sites have re like reported what special feature content's going to be on it, I did see the back of the Warner jacket for the 4K, and there is fucking zero special features on it. There is nothing on it, not even so much as a trailer on this thing, which shocks me because I was on YouTube the other day, and there was a five-minute compilation that someone had uploaded of behind-the-scenes footage from the new Evil Dead, and it's all taken from the various cast and crew members that are compiled footage, so you can see behind the scenes of practically everything. And because it was all mainly shot on a phone, they've been able to get that phone into the tightest of spots, so there's stuff from behind the scenes of within the, the lift. You even see right at the start when they're building the sets themselves, so you can see where the corridor is going to be. I'm like, this footage exists, and someone's put it all up on the internet in, you know, a compilation, then why the hell aren't we getting yeah. a proper release? And it's a, it's made a ridiculous amount of money, enough money that they're warranted a 4K release, but not a single special feature. Not even, there's multiple trailers for the film. I mean, on the B2B for Universal Pictures, there's interview footage with Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell, as well as other cast and crew on the film, but they've not seen fit do to they do not, so. Do they not they, just have like... Do they, they could have just contacted... Uh, they could have just contacted you, Glenn, and got your interview with uh, the two leads. I mean, they've got well, all see, that. They've got all that. Like they've yeah, got every everything. interview that's been done. They've, they've got, got it. They've the recorded global. It. Yeah, they keep. They they've got all of this stuff. And I mean, I would like to say, oh, okay, they want to rush it to market because they know there's demand for it, so they'll make some money now. Then come October, they'll double dip and release a deluxe edition. It ain't going to happen. Not through, not through Warner Universal because they're not really double dipping into their catalog on recent release titles. I mean, they don't even like releasing back catalog titles. And the problem with this picture being a Warner New Line picture is the fact that they probably won't sub license it to someone like Screen Factory or Arrow either, which means we might be actually fucked for a special edition on this. And this is one I actually would like to buy, but. I would like some special features on there because there's a lot of cool shit. I'd like to see some behind the scenes of the special effects. I, I listened to a recent podcast with the director who was um, on postmortem and it was a fascinating listen. So, yeah, it's a really big disappointment. At this stage, no local release date. And we can definitively say that once that US release and the specs are finalised, we're going to get a carbon copy of it. Is so, it yeah, that's my main gripe for this week. Is it something as simple well, as they haven't got the manpower, like they've just not got enough people to assign to it? I just, I think it's just a, it's complete oversight. I think they don't, these majors, they they don't know their markets that well. They, they think, okay, well, people want a 4K. I mean, when it comes to Warner, they're doing some fantastic releases at the moment to celebrate their 100th anniversary. A lot of back catalogue releases making their way to 4K. Unfortunately, they're not going to any effort to do any new content. So they're porting all the content from their two-disc special editions and Blu-rays, which is great because it makes it a complete package. But it's a shame that there's a missed opportunity to do something new with it. And I feel for them, they don't really care. I've heard excuses on, I did read one excuse that someone said, there's probably no special features because originally the film was made for HBO Max and, you know, they tested it, tested through the roof and they decided to go theatrical with it. And to that I say, bullshit, because I've just watched five minutes of behind the scenes footage of it. How hard is it to get the director to do a commentary, you know, just to step inside a studio wherever he is in the world, whether he's back in Ireland or whether he's in the US, to do a commentary. I mean, there would have been stuff they deleted from the film as well, for sure, for run, run time. But yeah, so like, I don't think it's a, you know, it's a, they made Sorry. a lot of money out of this movie. And I think that they're just, they're just being tight asses on it, you know? Sorry, Jared. Look, I, I, maybe I, I missed the very beginning of your talk because I would have been thinking about our Saviour Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, did, is this just is this just the four K or is there stuff on the? No, on the this is for the Blu Ray and it's, DVD it's, and, as well. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, right. nothing, nothing on them. All of them at this stage, they haven't announced the audio specs, and I couldn't quite see that detail on the back of the jacket because the image wasn't large enough. 
but so I'll come back, but I'm hoping at the very least it's got an Atmos track because that movie did sound amazing in the cinema. It was probably one of the best sounding films I've seen in recent years. It was just like full 360 degree sound and it really added to the film. But yeah, at this stage, no special features for any one of the formats for this film. But yeah, that was a that was a big gripe of mine this week because I'm just, I don't know, I'm just kind of pissed off. You want to keep people in physical media, you've got to do a bare minimum. And a bare minimum is really a trailer, mm. maybe some marketing featurettes or something, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so, but no Australian date at this stage, but considering we open in line with the US, I anticipate that we'll probably see it around the same time, sometime July, late July into August. Uh, but I will report back when I hear more about that. But that was pretty much the most exciting <laughs> release news this week. And sadly, it's not good news. Yeah, well, there we go. Oh, well, it, there was a conversation to be had and we had it. <laughs> I, I feel like we should retitle this segment Jarrett's PE Rant because I feel like I've been ranting a lot lately. I promise to bring good news and cheer next week because, like I said, there's a ton of releases uh, and some of them are actually good. So get excited <laughs> wow. for that. Uh, I will say, Jared, actually, yeah. look, let me, let me give you a heads up on one of them. I'll give you a heads up on one of them. Okay, so Pearl is coming out mm -hmm. right next week. Uh, and Madman's actually done a very good job of it because they've ported the special feature content from the US release, albeit only being two featurettes and a trailer, but that's still quite good. Plus, they've released an alternate version at JB with a slipcase with, you know, considerably better art than the traditional theatrical art for the film. But that one is coming out next week. So that one, look, I'm really excited about the fact that Madman's doing it. Hopefully it'll encourage Roadshow to re-release the first one on Blu-ray. Well, that would be good. I mean, Ben's <laughs> Ben's in Austria. You could go and pick up the 4K release because they'd actually got a 4K over there, X. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will be on the lookout for it. <laughs> pick, up your eyes pick up three. Pick up three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think should, should it, yeah. I think there's probably there's honestly like four versions of it over there because they did media books of it as well. So there's three different art, and then I think a steel book that was the wider trade wide, which is funny. A trade wide would be a steel book, but that's I mean they've just got such a rapid physical media sort of community over that way. Excellent. Yeah, it's going to be great. And just, oh, just, I, I will drop one more tidbit. Before, I've got one. Yeah, oh, okay. sorry. You go with your tidbit. And I was I'll, gonna, I'll, I was, no, I was just going to say, like, should we talk about that? Or that's that new slew of uh, houseboat horror extras that we previously that no one's announced yet. Oh, I thought we announced them last no, week. We no, we did. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just trying to. I was thinking, oh, I'm just trying shit. To, to drag it out a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More, yeah, we're more bringing it back. Content. I did a radio. I did a radio <laughs> spot the other night. I um, I didn't have an opportunity to kind of pimp it on the social media to get people to listen, but it didn't matter because we had our usual. It's it pretty much. I feel like some of the callers that call in. It's like it's like an episode of Sizzle Town. I love it. <laughs> but we did fish out of water movies, and it was like the busiest it had been. We had. They had so many callers. They basically told people to stop calling or texting because <laughs> the, there was just no way they were going to get through. But we did fish out of water. And and at one point, I think Trevor brought up the movie Houseboat, the Cary Grant film and Sophia Loren. Mm. And I saw that as an opportunity towards Chinzia. the end of the thing Chinzia. to bring up Houseboat Horror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I did get to talk on ABC radio about Houseboat Horror. And what's more, it's formed the theme for next month where we're going to do... Uh, film set on the water, so I'll probably go into a huge excellent. And don't about forget, don't about. forget the long-awaited sequel, Jet Ski Jerry. That's coming. Killer yeah, I'm, that's. I'm looking forward to to getting on the jet ski. I'm not going to take any lessons. I'm just going to go there and, and bar up. Do it. Yeah, exactly. Bar up. Okay, yeah. so. I did have another tidbit. I did <laughs> say I was going to show you The Haunting of Julia. I d clearly don't have it here at the moment. I've got, I do. I've got lots of other stuff here. But I was going to, and Glenn's going to get it. There it is. Is it still sealed, Glenn? Yes. I Well, if you want to see it open and you want to check it out, I have done a video on the Monster Fest website and YouTube. It's an unboxing and product review of it. Look, it was ter it's a terrific release. Like, it's, it's, got a, it's loaded um, with special feature this content. This is not going to fare well for the listeners of the show, but if you watch the video on Tuesday, you can see mm. the cover here, but it's got a holographic cover and it's really thick, and I'm going to shoot my own little unboxing of that too. Oh, well, there you go. We'll have competing unboxings. <laughs> it's a 3D lenticular hard case, apparently, is the wording that is they've it, given um, it. Is it, li is it limited? 
It is to fifteen hundred units, and I'm shocked that it hasn't sold out yet. I know that obviously BFI oh, have, have done a four K release in the states, and uh, sorry, in the UK, and Screen Factory's done a four K in the US, uh, but. It's hard to say. The BFI does have some great special features. It's either between the BFI or Imprint release as to the best release. But honestly, the Imprint has the best packaging of the lot. But I'm shocked that they haven't sold through the 1500 units. It's it's crazy. Probably by the time, you know, you do your unboxing, Glenn, it'll be gone. So maybe keep it in the plastic <laughs> and hold on to it for eBay because that thing could be fetching a pretty penny. That is true. That is true. All right, mate. That's it for the I was week. Say, I know, oh, I no, know you no, can't. Ben's got more. You He's got one more tidbit. <laughs> I was just going to say. No, I was just going to say, I know it looks like I'm just looking, I'm just watching uh, the Zoom feed uh, while we're doing this. I've actually just jumped on the JB Hi-Fi website to order myself a copy. <laughs> oh, well, you know what's going to happen though, Ben, is you'll you'll order a copy now. They do have 20% off, but the minute you order it and before it even arrives in your letterbox, they'll do one of those buy one, get one freeze. <laughs> and you'll realize that you could have got two films for that, like 60 odd dollars instead of the one. Like, like what happened to you with The Wicker Man? And then I got the yeah, Wicker Man and okay. Godfather for the price of one. Anyway, I don't want to. You know what you can do? You can always return it, get a refund, and buy it again. Yeah. So, well, not to, yeah, not to dissuade anyone from purchasing it right now at Top Dollar because we need to support the indies, if anything. But anyway, that's it for me for this week, uh, gentlemen. So, Ben, enjoy your travels abroad. And, uh, Glenn, you, as always, absolute pleasure. Adios, amigo.